Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Carissa. Thanks for tuning in. So as promised in the last video, I'm here with another Lululemon haul. I have been shopping online mostly on lululemon.com and I also picked up a few items from adidas.com as well. So without further ado, let me show you guys what I got. Okay guys, you know I cannot start off with the Lululemon stuff first because you have to save the best for last. So I'm going to start off with the Adidas items I purchased. I only purchased three. Adidas often has a really great sale. So this particular day they had 30% off, which is not uncommon for them to give you 30% off. So why I continue to shop at Lululemon, I don't know because I really do like my Adidas pieces that I get. So I guess you could just say I'm addicted to Lululemon. But uh, these are the pieces I picked up from adidas.com. So this first one is a halter kind of like crop top bra is more so of a bra than a crop top but it is that halter style so it does hit you a little bit higher on your neckline so this is what it looks like and then the back just has the open concept with the kind of crisscross detailing it's very simple but this is super cute on so I have a Lululemon bra that's very similar to this if I can remember the name of it I will write it here on the screen but I really like this open back, just simple cross in the back type bra. So the name of this is the Wanderlust 2.0 Halter. And I believe they have a whole Wanderlust collection because my friend actually texted me and she was like, you look really cute in these clothes that Adidas have, like this collection. And I was like, okay, you know, I'll check it out. And they ended up marking this bra down, so I picked it up. Um, the only thing is I got this in a size small and it is tight. Like, I don't know what it is about Adidas sizing because I purchased stuff from Adidas before and it's either true to size or bigger. So for this certain, this one particular time I'm shopping there, all these items I got were too small. So this fits, like I don't feel uncomfortable in it, but it is tight on me. So, um, I'm just gonna work with it but because I like it a lot, but it is like kind of tight. And I'm normally a size small in everything, so I'm not really sure what's going on with this. But um, I do really like this bra the way it looks. It's just unfortunate that the sizing is a little different. Next two items I have here are tank tops. So they look like this. And I will write the name of the actual item on the screen here, um, but this is called the women's pack crop tank. So this one kind of threw me off. Like this isn't the fault of the clothing that I picked the wrong size. It's kind of my fault. So if you look at this, right, this looks like kind of it would be a more of a bra type fit. Because I'm thinking like, okay, with the back kind of like this, what type of sports bra would you wear with that? You probably want this to fit as like a sports bra itself. So I got this in an extra small thinking that I would want it to be a little bit tighter because I didn't plan on wearing a bra under it. That was not the best idea. Um, it fits me, but it fits kind of snug. Um, but I do like the way this looks. As you can see, it just has the Adidas symbol here at the top. And then the back is just kind of like a razor back, but then it has this cute little detailing here and this elastic band at the bottom of the crop. So I really thought this was cute, especially on the model. And I do like it on me. The only thing is that, like I said, I bought this with the intention of not wearing a sports bra with it. Um, so this orange, you can kind of see through this. Like, I don't think, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but this material is like stretchy and it gets thin as it stretches. So when I put this on, obviously it stretched a little bit and you can see right through. So I will definitely be trying to wear a sports bra with this one. Um, I did get this same top in black. And the black, I can definitely get away with not wearing a bra because it's a lot darker so you can't see like my boobs or anything like that. So I do really love the black and I got the black in a size extra small as well. But just know that if you are going to <clears throat> pick up this crop top, just know that it is actually a tank top even though it looks like it could be like a bra or like a crop top. 
uh, just go with your true to size sizing. I probably would have gotten away with a small or even a medium in this, but I picked up the extra small and you guys will see in the try on that it doesn't look awful on me, but you know, just to be more comfortable, I probably should have went with a small. Okay, so let's jump into the Lulu items. This isn't gonna be a massive haul like a lot of my hauls are. Just four or five items that I've picked up over the past couple of weeks. So let's start with the most recent one, and this is actually the one that was the most random. So I finally bought a yoga mat from Lululemon. Um, I know that a lot of people buy Lululemon and don't do yoga or they're not like yoga enthusiasts even though the brand is like for yoga enthusiasts and yoga activity. Um, but I am one of those people who honestly just love Lululemon for the quality of their clothing and you know the styles that they offer. So yoga isn't like the first thing that popped into my mind when I go shopping on lululemon.com. However, I decided to purchase this yoga mat because I have been deciding to take my stretching routine a lot more seriously. I, um, like I said before, have committed to CrossFit and I have been on a different training regimen than what I have been in the past couple of months. So I am weight training a lot more, I am going to class a lot more, I'm putting a lot more stress on my body, so in turn, I have to take care of my body. So the intention for me buying this yoga mat was to focus a lot more on my mobility, stretching, recovery. So this is gonna be for whenever I am here at my apartment and I need to stretch. So what I have been doing uh, the past couple of weeks is basically I'll put on some peaceful meditation music, light a candle, and just stretch. I use my foam roller, I use a lacrosse ball, and I go through a stretching routine that is anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes. So I've been doing that um, in my living room on the carpet and that is kind of not comfortable. So I decided to pick up this yoga mat which was on Markdown. So um, I will link it below. The price for this yoga mat was ridiculous. I'm not gonna pretend and sit here and say that this was you know, the smartest purchase I've ever made because it wasn't. Um, however, I trust the brand and I believe in the brand so I just decided to pick up a quality item that I know is gonna last me for a long time. So this yoga mat is reversible and it is also the 5mm version of this mat. So I think you can also get a 3mm, which is not as thick. So the, um, uh, what do you call the you, Lululemon, the Lululemon Educator, that's what they're called. Um, the Lululemon Educator in the store that I actually, I saw this online and I went and picked it up in my local store. So when I spoke to her, she said that she had this exact mat and she liked this one a lot better because it adds more support, especially if you're doing like power yoga or if you're doing more uh, higher intensity stuff on the mat, which, you know, that's not a, you know, something I consider to do on this yoga mat, but I definitely, you know, if I have it, I might as well put it to get use. So, um, she said this is great for that and like I said, I'm working on my mobility and stability so obviously I, going with a thicker one would probably be a good idea. So like I said, this is the 5mm reversible mat. So actually I haven't opened this yet but I plan on doing this right now so let's go ahead and open this yoga mat to see what it looks like. Okay guys, so let's jump back into the haul. So I have three pairs of shorts that I've picked up recently from Lululemon. Um, this first pair, or first two pair, I actually picked up in store. So I lied at the beginning and said that I purchased all these from Lululemon.com. I forgot that I actually went in the store and shopped too. But um, this first pair is just another pair of speed up shorts. 
So this makes my fourth pair. Um, I love these shorts. They make my legs look awesome. Um, I like this red color and I figured that this color would probably sell out really quick so I snagged it when I could. I believe this color actually just came on the website like maybe a week ago if that so I jumped on the opportunity when I could. So like I said, these are the speed up shorts in the two and a half inch inseam length. So these are the short ones. Like if you're not comfortable exposing your legs, do not wear these because I'm not gonna lie, these are short. But um, I love wearing these for working out, CrossFit. These are like my go-tos. So I just picked up another pair of these. Um, I'll link, like I said, everything below. So the next two pairs of shorts, I actually wouldn't mind doing a separate review on these just because they're new to Lululemon and um, you know, I'd like to be one of the first people to kind of give my opinion on them, especially if some of you guys are interested. So the first pair are the Align shorts. Now, Lululemon is famous for their Align leggings, so they have actually gone ahead and made a shorts version of their Align leggings. And um, I have not worn these to work out in yet, but I tried them on, and let me tell you, they are super flattering. Um, I absolutely love the way these look on me. They're high rise. They're absolutely everything what you ex would expect that the leggings are, but in shorts version. So I cannot wait to put these to the test. And like the Align leggings, they're not meant for higher intensity workouts. These are actually meant for yoga. But like I said, I'm not really a huge yogi, um, but what I would probably do is stretch in these or maybe do like a um, body weight type, like not hit style workout, but maybe like a circuit that's push-ups or, you know, some type of arm movement so I'm not like putting too much friction and stress on the shorts. So whatever I come up with, I'll let you guys know and I will definitely do a review on these shorts and how they wear. Um, but I just got the navy blue color. I'm a size four in the leggings as well as these shorts and I'm super impressed. Like I said, they look amazing on. But I will actually do another review video explaining how I like the fit of these, how they wear in a workout, do they ride up, do they, you know, all that stuff in another video. But for the meantime, this is what I got. Next pair of shorts that I plan on doing possibly a review on are the new Fast and Free shorts. Um, just like the Align shorts I just showed you, Lululemon has the Fast and Free leggings. Now they have the shorts um, as well. So as you can see, I've actually worn these already. So they don't have the tag on them. I've worn them one time actually for a 30 mile bike ride. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I can give too much feedback because I got hit by a car on that bike ride. So um, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't really focused on the shorts after that happened. I was just focused on getting home. I'm okay, obviously I'll have to explain more about what happened in the review video because that was a funny story. But um, anyway, so I did wear these on my bike ride and they held up well from what I can remember. I plan on wearing these again soon to see, you know, they're meant for running, they're not meant for cycling. Um, but I plan on wearing these for like a run and I'll give you guys some feedback on if they ride up or not, you know, that sort of thing. They are just like the leggings. They have the pockets here all along the back. They have the side pockets here on the thigh and then as well the Lululemon symbol here on the left leg. So, I mean, I can't wait to see how these actually wear now that I won't be distracted, hopefully. So stay tuned for that video as well. Okay guys, I have two more items here to show you. So the next item is going to be a free to be serene bra. So I already have one of these bras um, and this is only the second one of these I purchased. I don't know why because I really, really like this bra and the back detailing. So this is what the back looks like. This is part of the Lululemon's free to be collection. So they have the free to be, they have the free to be zen, free to be serene, which is what I have here, free to be wild. So I have all of those bras. So that will definitely be another video that I do a um, collection on. 
just because they have so many different styles in that collection but this is the free to be serene I just really like this color like I said I don't know why I haven't purchased this bra before this I have one other one that I purchased like two or three years ago um, but I just really like the free to be wilds I guess so that one overtook this one but I mean I love this and I what caught my eye was this color I think this is a beautiful purple lilac color so um, that's what made me pick this up I'm a size 8 as always in the Lulu bras and um, yeah so I will definitely let you guys know in the collection video my thoughts on the free to be serene so I actually have two more items. I forgot that I had one item that I already wore in the laundry to dry. So I just got that out of the dryer. Um, so this is what it is. It is this Lululemon uh, cropped shirt. And is this right? Why does it look so funny? So this is the break free tank um, in the new lux material by Lululemon obviously um, I got this in a size 8 so I thought this was really cute because as you can see it's like a crop top but it's like a two-in-one tank so it's the top and then the back it looks like this because it has a mesh bra inside as well so it looks really cute on like this me holding it up won't do it justice, but I saw this on the model online and I was like, I have to have this. So what I like to do, especially with items that are not really capsule items or items that I'm not familiar with, with Lululemon, I like to look at the reviews. <laughs> and I will say, the reviews on this sucked. Well, they didn't like completely suck, but they were like a three star out of five. So to me, that's kind of one that's like, tread lightly but I really like the style of this so I was like okay I'm just gonna hear out the reviews and try it for myself so what I did the reviews basically were saying that the sizing is super weird and it's not really a true to size item and no matter what size you get it still fits like really funky like it's not too small but it's not too big either it's just a weird fitting item so what I decided to do was I purchased this in a 6 and a size 8 and whichever one didn't fit I just returned. So I bought, received both of these, tried on the 6, the 6 fit too tight so I knew the 6 was out. The thing about it is the 8, the bra fit really well but the actual top like it fit like really loosely toward more towards the bottom of it like where it was hitting my stomach like it wasn't cinched to my midsection it kind of like was looser fitting but the top par part of the shirt fit like it should so it is true what the reviews were saying the shirt is really really oddly fitting um, almost to the point where I don't even know if I want to really recommend it to you guys unless you are just in love with the style of it like I was like I truly love this shirt because of where it hit like it's a crop top but you guys know I'm like really funny about exposing my belly so um, this hit long enough to me where like I felt comfortable wearing like I would feel comfortable wearing it but also I like the back detailing of it and the two-in-one concept so I decided to just go ahead and purchase it but just giving you a heads up it fits weird I would not and it's an online only purchase so you can do what I did and just purchase two sizes and return the other one but just know that this fits weird and um, don't say I didn't warn you and then the last item I have is this and it's inside out and the last item I have here is actually one I purchased a couple weeks ago and I had it featured in another video but decided to just hold off and just put it in this haul video this is the laser speed train tank I think is what it's called and this is the completely wrong size I got this in a size 8 again thinking that it was a bra style shirt but it's really a tank so in shirts and tank tops in Lululemon I'm either a 4 or a 6 so the size 8 is way too big um it fits okay but you can tell that it's too big like when you like see it on me it's like oh okay like you know it could fit a little bit better but it's like um 
okay that's a little big on her so it's to the point like I thought I could get over this and just kind of you know get over the fact that it's too big but the other day I went to wear it to class and I was getting dressed and I put it on and I didn't like the way it looked so I took it off so this may be a Poshmark item because this was final sale so I can't return it um, unfortunately I'm not thrilled about it and there's nothing I can do to really save this top I don't think just because it hits so low on my stomach that it's just it's just too big it's just too big I don't know what to say I may try to get it him I don't know I haven't decided yet but um, once again, this doesn't fit me, but I do like the concept of it and I love the color of it. I just got the wrong size. Okay, so I hate to leave that this video on such a negative review note, uh, but thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see a collection review style video.